Okay, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Welcome to my webcam. Today we're going to have to talk about Rivellino, my, my favourite, my favourite little man, my favourite little guy. I made a video about Rivellino about a year ago, about his whole Green Lines thing, the thing he loves, um, about his posts, about his need to post, so if you if you if you need a little Rivellino background, that video is in the description. Um, you can enjoy, you can roast me. Beautiful, good. But it seems <laughs> it seems yesterday that Rivellino was back at it. Um, not that he's gone anywhere that I know of. I'm sure he's been you know tweeting every single beautiful day since I made that video and will never ever cease, um, much like myself. So that's that's one thing, but um, I yesterday I saw this, this tweet, this gorgeous tweet from Shu on Head. This, this is men's astrology, and then, and then she, she screenshotted some of Rivellino's um, gorgeous tweets, so here he is. He's got he's gotten a picture of three gorgeous men. <laughs> I don't really know who these guys are. I, I kind of know who Vosh is in the middle, but the replies tell me this is Charlie Kirk, Vosh, and Temple. So, hello, men. Um, I don't know about men. I generally I haven't heard of men, so that's just one of those things. But here are three men, and Rivellino the artist. Says body language pop quiz. Who looks more dominant in this photo and why? Ooh, what a question. What could the answer be? I would I, I would say Vosh because I think he's about to like pince a crab crush both of these guys. Like he he's about to, you know, do a do a crab move and just snap their necks right off. Right off. That would be my answer. Um you know, the grip. The grip of dominance. <laughs> but I think I think they're just chilling. I don't think this is a battle scenario. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know these guys. Maybe they're doing a kind of subtle kind of wrestling in this picture. I, I don't know. I, I don't know male body language, evidently. Let's move on to the next tweet. Okay, so someone replies, Tim, the only one not leaning. So Tim is the one on the right. The one with the hat. Hat Tim, I may refer to him as. And Rivellino says, true, Tim is standing up straight and that is a sign of strength, but he's covering his balls in cock shame. He's covering his balls in cock shame. Okay, so now up until now, I thought Rivellino was, you know, an expert on the male physique, the male stance, the body and body language of the man, right? But I'm not sure he knows where the testicles are. I, mm, I, 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 I think Tim's hands there are actually probably above his balls. So my argument would be that actually by, do, by doing this gesture here, he's, hold on, his hands are here, his balls are here, right? His, his, his cock and balls right around this area. <laughs> so to do this, he's actually gesturing to say, check out my cock and balls. They're directly under where my hands are right now. My hands, you know, if he was ashamed of his dick, he'd be like, oh, he'd be like, oh, oh, my dick. Um, <laughs> but he's not, he's like, hello, I am a stately man. My dick, my cock is here. So that's my assessment of the, um, of the stance of Tim here. Okay, hope, hope you understood. 
Okay, what's next? Okay, someone else answers. It's clearly Vosh. The penis confidence combined with him having both arms around the others clearly displays, displays his superiority. While the tilt is certainly embarrassing, he makes up for it with his pelvis turning towards a secondary male Tim. Wait, I'm sorry. So why, why is Tim the secondary male? Is it because he's on the right and therefore like just next in the line? Um, is that, like, is the order of the man in the picture meaningful? Is that what's being implied? Okay, but anyway, let's, let's take a look at, okay, he's, he's penis proud. He's like, he is my dick. Like, that's his stance, I guess. He, he's like, he's pointing that thing. He's he's pointing that penis. Am I right? He's he's he is he's got his penis. He's locked on with this penis to Tim. What does that signal? What does that signify? What's hmm? Interesting. Interesting. But again, Vosh was my answer for very different reasons. But it's the crab grab, the crab grab, which I pointed out. However, I mean. Man over here is the tallest, so surely that's worth something. I mean, you know, this this guy could just stand on a cliff, jump off it, land on the other two. Um, you know, they could all try that, but but as the tallest, uh, Charlie Kirk here, he would have the most, you know, height, the most force with that height, the most, the most height bulk the you know intimidating presence you know what i mean you know what i'm saying okay anyway <clears throat> Vosh is too open revealing his vitals Ooh, and yeah that's a that's a really a, a, a reverse kind of reverse uno thing of of the thing that the previous person said <laughs> <laughs> Revealing his vitals. Guy I don't know. Looks like he was literally falling as picture taken. Okay, so that's Charlie. He... Yeah, yeah, he, he looks like he's falling. This guy? No balance. Actually, Charlie looks like he's more, ba more balanced than anybody here because he's, he, he's comfortable, you know, moving his centre of gravity, moving his stance. That implies to me that he has a good foothold on the ground. Um, so, you know, think about that. Tim looks like you could not move him if you strapped him to a rocket. The rocket would just stay there. Okay, that, that that's a farcical statement. He is only a man. He is only a man. He could be moved. I, I think even I could move him. And I, I'm, I'm, a mere, I'm a mere imp of the forest. But I think I could move him. I think I could just whoop. whoop. You don't see the willingness to expose oneself and be vulnerable as a form of confidence? Like, I'm untouchable. What does it matter if you can get to my vitals? And also, the closed-off stance of Tim doesn't that seem defensive slash insecure? I don't know. I think... I think this is... This is... This is a mistake. He's about to get his dick sliced off. <laughs> I come in. I come in with my cheese grater. I grate the entire dick off. Easy. Easy as that. Gone. Dick gone. And then a third person replies, I would say Vorch is more confident. Definitely being vulnerable indicates self-assuredness. But the question was, who's more dominant? And Tim seems to be dominant as both the other two are leaning towards him. Ooh, the lean. They are leaning. What does that say? I think it signifies love, respect, honour. Um, they want to they wanna kiss him, they want to wear his hat, they want to ha wear a hat that's like his hat. But you know what? That doesn't mean they're not dominant. In fact, leaning towards him surely imposes a, a physical stature on him. You know, I mean, Vosh has got that crab arm around. There's a lot to, there's a lot to analyse here. There's a lot to think about. There's a lot happening. There's a lot we can conclude. It's it's not it's not like a like a an easy thing to figure out the the, the the dominance the dominance of these men complex complex um, exciting passionate. <clears throat> but as I said, Tim Tim's Tim's actually um, comfortable. 
with his penis, I believe. I think Vorsch maybe is is try, trying to present a confidence, but he's 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 pushing it out too far. He's pushing it out too far, and you know you can go okay, your 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 dick's just ready for any any small woman to come in and and greet it right off with a cheese grater. You know what I mean? Okay, so that's that's that. <laughs> That's that tweet. Interesting. So this is this is got a lot of people talking. Body language. This person replied, "Body language is a real thing, though," because she said this is Vince astrology. Which okay, sure, all right. Body language is a real thing, though. So much of human communication is nonverbal. Do you know what's also real, though? The stars. I've seen them, they're real. So, I mean, body language is real, stars are real. All I can conclude from that is that Rivellino's ideas about um, masculine dominance through stance and astrology are both absolutely legit, and also you should check out orgones. Look up orgones. I think all of these things are working together and create like a, like a thick world of um, science that we need to just tap into. Um, anyway, okay, so Rivellino is in the reply saying, thank you, Shu, did you vote yet? So there's a vote, Vorsch won. Interesting, see, I think my theory about the crab arms is what's caused that. People see those crab arms, people see him grabbing the other two guys and they're like, okay, he's, you know, in, in the mode of like getting ready to wrestle, pop their necks off like um, like doll heads, you know, just pop them right off. That's what I think people are recognizing. So I think I'm right. Um, interesting, Charlie was voted the least dominant. I think it's because he's tallest and people are intimidated by that and they, they wanna, you know, use the, the reverse um, and just vote. They're like, no, 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 he, he's a weak, he's weak. He can't hurt me. He can't get me. He can't come for me in my dreams tonight. But you know what? He might. And I'm sorry to break that to you, but you you can't... You, you don't want to be coddled. You want to be prepared. And I think you have to accept the reality that Charlie Kirk is coming for you tonight. And he's going to get you. And he's tall. Okay? He's tall. He's tall enough to get you. All right. Here's his tweet, who looks more dominant, as we've seen, as we've looked at, we've, we've, we've analysed this picture, we've taken a good look. Um, I will say Charlie Kirk looks the happiest. So I think, you know, again, it, 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 he's happy, he's comfortable, he's confident, he's tall, he's coming for you. He's coming. And it doesn't matter that Vorta's got one arm on the guy. Um, he could shrug that off and, you know, pull Vosh over his shoulder, smash him down, um, beat his cock, you know? <laughs> Cheese grater off his balls. I mean, just saying. I believe it. Okay. I feel like a teacher grading papers. Okay, so he's drawn, he's, he's, he's gotten his green lines out. He is, he's ticking off the dicks and he's crossed, he's crossed out the, again, like the dick is not there. That's not where a penis um, is, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Mm, penis is like right there. Penis is there. Okay. Um, interesting. Seems like here we've got, okay, two penises yes, one penis no. Um, these guys are leaning. And it seems Temple's like the most solid, the most straight up solid. Okay, so here we have, you know, it's the same, it's the same thing, but he's, he's got the stripy lines, ooh, which I assume it looks like it's signifying again that they're leaning. This is, this is, this is my favorite one because to symbolize the penis, um, he has used a downwards arrow. And I think that says a lot. Um, lots of arrows on this one. Tim, he's not facing this way, so I'm not really sure about what this arrow here means exactly. These graphics only confuse me more. First impression of this photo was like, oh, Vosh, you know, he's he's got his arms, you know, he's he's ready to crush. Maybe he's the most dominant, but now I'm like, I mean, Charlie Kirk, he's, he's, he's comfy, he's taller than the other guys, he's chilling. He looks like he's feeling good, actually. Um, 
I think him, honestly. I do. All right. From the comments. Rivellino continues with this thread. From the comments. Tim, the only one not leaning. Fat bro in the middle. Kirk is leaning in slightly, but maintained enough distance to alter the whole frame. Vosh for short, don't know, but Tim has cock shame. <laughs> Tim fails the cock test, but has two guys way taller leaning. What? I, I need to know the specifics of the cock test, um, because I am going to be testing everyone in my life with that. Um, I need more info on the cock test. That's all I want to say. Now, uh, easily Tim exposing his calves to assert dominance. Okay, that's fair. That's a fair comment. Probably the smartest comment here. Okay, I'm not going to read all those. We've seen the vote, which it was actually fairly close between Charlie and Tim, but Vort won a lot, which um, I think it's the, the, I think it's the deceptive nature of the crab hold. The, those crab arms, you know? We don't know how strong those those crap arms are, and I, I I don't know. I just don't. The more I look at the the picture, the more I think actually, he's not got a strong hold. He's he's not going to be able to pop their heads off. I I don't believe it. I don't believe in it anymore. I don't believe in it anymore. And I think this is a good lesson that you know what at first you may notice can can really be a red herring. Can really throw you off. And uh, that's why you really need to look at um, look at things and assess them, and and really go through the possibilities. When you when you see a picture like this, you got to think, okay, yes, man is leaning, which is a sign of of weakness. But this guy isn't even really hiding his cock and balls. So think about it. Think about it think about it and you will understand <clears throat> okay 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 well comments i don't care about i don't care about these comments tim wins the green line test but loses the cock confidence test sad 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 but you know so i really th i really think it's the opposite i think that he is showing cock confidence here by by just gesturing right to it right to it come on think about it think more diagrams oh my god more green lines are not enough. no hover hand if he had the hover hand it would look more like he was ready to take him out so i think that's kind of a negative honestly covers a wide area i mean okay we can all cover a wide area but you're spreading yourself thin when you do that right Unsure of himself, and this has circled his crotch. Leans in, weak. Beta shamefully hides his erection. <laughs> He's drawn a, a straight up green line on Vosh. When we all know that Vosh is leaning over a little bit here. Come on, guy. You can't fool me. I see. I see what you're doing. You're trying to doctor these lines. I can see the real lines like I have Shinigami eyes, okay? I look at a man, I see those green lines. I know. He's leaning. He's leaning. He's leaning. <laughs> Watch controlling the both by putting his hands on their shoulders is very dominant, especially his openness and putting his shoulder on a taller man. He also has a confident expression, slight lean, in order to compensate for the shoulder grab because of the height difference. Yeah, but there's no confidence in his face while doing it. My understanding is also that he basically forced them to take a picture with him, and they were both uncomfortable. So that's definitely a dominant move. That's really all I had to say for that. Let's, I guess, let's see if Rivellino is doing any more tweets, he has a little flower leaning there. Amazing. Oh, no. Okay, at least in this picture, Hitler actually, you know, his hands are in front of where his genitals are, roughly. If you're gonna make the argument, about cock shame, then at least it's it's in the right place. <laughs> He's quoting Def Leppard. All right. Um. I need to. I need to leave. I need to stop.
looking at these tweeds, I need to grasp my fox man and I need to leave. I need to go. Have a great day. Don't be ashamed of that cock. Okay, bye. <laughs>